Welcome back to The Modern Retail Experience, the series that delves into the latest trends, market changes, and technological advancements that are shaping the world of retail. The holiday season can be make or break for retailers. According to the National Retail Federation, winter holiday consumer spending this year is expected to reach a record of $902 per person on average, making it a critical time for retailers to create magical experiences and drive excitement. From strategically placed merchandise to immersive store layouts, the right setup can maximize customer engagement and sales. In this episode, discover how technology, visual merchandising, and optimized store design can come together and enhance the holiday shopping experience and keep customers coming back for more. So join us as we explore all that the modern retail experience has to offer and discover how retailers are using technology to stay ahead of the curve. In-store merchandising is really where the holiday spirit can kind of come alive. You know, I think it's everything from the sensory experiences, whether it's scent that's coming in, whether it's sound, and just really being able to kind of have that fun experience that's driving you. And I think the big issue is really having it linked to the merchandise and bringing it to life and kind of getting that sense of magic and wonder and really getting you excited about an impulse purchase, whether it's a gift or for yourself, but just really not so much an errand shopping, but one that kind of gets you really excited about it. I think customers are also looking for easier ways to shop and, and ideas like bundles and uh, top picks and best selections of top rated products or gift ideas to make it much easier for people getting out of the store. How do you guide purchasing behaviors around impulse shopping? You know, putting things near the cashiers, near the entrances, near the major focal points of the store to make sure that consumers, that you, know, you can draw attention to brands and, and products that you want to highlight. Using digital displays in the store can really create engaging and differentiated shopping experiences, whether that's showcasing products in dynamic and interactive ways, or I've seen some apparel retailers have some fun virtual try-on experiences in their digital displays. What I've also seen really effective in creating an immersive and sharing experience is having digital displays that have interactive games and quizzes and photo shooting that are a part of it, that encourage shoppers to be able to not participate and interact just with the brand, but to also share the brand across various different social channels. Apps can be used to be able to attract new customers to your store and once in the store, make that experience much more positive and efficient for the shopper. Using things like product locators to improve store navigation when the store is very busy, or offering things like mobile payments to reduce the long checkout lines that you may have. The obvious thing is to really leverage sales data real time to detect the first trends in the market. So that's obvious and I think now everybody's doing it. I think one thing that it may be overlooked sometimes that the market even earlier than that market surveys now, I mean, they become cheaper and faster with, with the AI and you can have a lot of small market surveys that enable you to detect micro trends in the market even before actually putting the product in the store. And I think for the data that are owned by retailers, some must not be overlooked, like the interaction on the point of sales, because you don't have just to, uh, to try to harness the sales data, but also the data about the interactions between your store staff, your store associates and the clients, keeping track of what's happening in the store and equally keeping track of the navigation on the website to detect the early trends is very critical in order to be able to be as reactive as possible, have the right product at the right store at the right moment. There's so much that's happening with big data and machine learning. And I think really trying to better understand the, the purchasing and then the inventory management. So they've got not only are they buying the right amounts of products, um, but it's in the right place at the right time. So I think especially as people are, are shopping more omni-channel, is the inventory coming from the store? Is it coming from warehouses? You know, being more flexible with the way that they're accessing inventory is really important. And then on the same extent, it's using that really deep customer insights to know what people want, right? So that's everything from, you know, mining social trends and understanding what's going to be the hot topics this year. What the colors that people are interested in, what are, you know, things that are going to be trending. So being able to kind of be ahead of that. And I think that is something that is happening more and more. And I think the closer you can get to that ordering window, so that you're able to kind of take those really smart insights and data and bring that into your ordering process. The advantage that retailers have with that brick and mortar store is that they have one that can offer a seamless online to offline model, which is really now channel fulfillment and uh, yeah, click and collect. So whether it's uh buy online pickup in store, otherwise known as focus or curbside pickup, 
you have the convenience to just shop as you wish and get it fulfilled the same day with, or within an hour or two. Personalized marketing recommendations across channels. On the channel from the customer's perspective is, does the retailer know me? Can they anticipate my needs? Can they deliver personalized recommendations to me and promotions based on my needs as a customer? And how does AI get layered in there to further contextualize offers to customers? I think the other thing that is really important during the holiday season too, is you have to have a really dynamic and kind of fluid return policy. You know, oftentimes when you think about holiday gifting, uh, it's not always the product that you get for the relative, the friend, the wife, that they absolutely love and that fits them. So being able to allow them to have multiple ways and remove the friction of the return or exchange process is really helpful, whether that's initiating that in store or online, regardless of where that purchase happened. Holiday season is typically a moment where people are even more than usual looking and searching online and potentially purchasing in stores. What is very important is the quality of execution and the quality of execution goes with reliability and speed and customer experience. So speed, for example, I mean, you have to offer same day delivery. You have to offer very fast click and collect in a reliable way. So you don't have to mess up with the stock information that is published on the website so that when people click and collect, they actually find it in the store. It's the price agility too, because everybody has to take care about the price evolution across the holiday season. So you have to be able to automate prices in the store so that you can have the same flexibility online and in the store in order to maximize sales and profit during the holiday season. In our next episode, as part of the Data Driver series, we'll explore the experiences that department store retailers need to offer to remain competitive during the busiest shopping season of the year. To learn more about the Retail Cloud Alliance, don't forget to click the link below and subscribe to our channel so you're first in line to watch the latest episodes.